Hello, I'm Simon and welcome to the CyRob YouTube channel. I'm going to talk you through the diagnosis of a faulty heated door mirror. First thing you're going to need to do is uh, to find the fuse that is linked to your door mirrors. Um, on my car, they don't have individual fuses. They're actually attached to what is known as the uh, the door module. So it's actually quite a hefty fuse on mine. It's these two 25 amp fuses, one for the left hand door, one for the right hand door. And that's because it, it um, carries the signals for electric window switches, electric mirror movements, central locking, and of course the door mirror and the heater element. So I've got the multimeter set up on DC volts and I'm just showing you on this spare fuse basically what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to be touching the exposed metal contacts with um, the two multimeter probes. And I've, obviously they're in the fuse box there. The engine's running, but I've got nothing turned on. And I'm just getting a base figure to um, just to make sure uh, that I'm getting the figures I'm expecting. And that is currently zero volts once you get the two probes pressed on the fuse. So that shows there's no current running. So if I now turn on the heated rear window switch, that should turn on the heated mirrors. But on the lower one, which is the right hand door, I still have no voltage drop. So there's no current flowing through that. On the left hand one though, you can see I have a three millivolt voltage drop which means there is current flowing through the left hand side the left hand side mirror is working it doesn't have a problem so you can see the the current flowing so on the lower of the white fuses i'm just doing a simple voltage test just using the door bracket for a ground and i've got one probe touching one of the pins on the fuse and as you can see I'm getting battery voltage so even though there's no current flowing for the mirror there is voltage available so on my car I just pop the mirror um, off inside the mirror housing and then it's got these two metal contacts just here for the live and ground and I'm just going to turn on the heated rear window and I'm just going to probe it now and do a voltage test and I want to see battery voltage at the mirror and sure enough battery voltage is there so we've got voltage through the fuse and it is available at the mirror but it's not the mirror isn't heating up so I'm now going to turn it to resistance and I'm going to be resistance testing three mirrors that's the left hand mirror which works absolutely fine then I'm going to resist it so I've got a good baseline for a working mirror then resistance test the defective right hand side one and then the spare one which I'm going to fit which I bought for about £10. So this is the passenger side one. I'll keep saying left hand side in case it's left hand drive. This is the left hand one which was working and you can see the resistance figure which is 10.4 ohms. So around 10.5 ohms. That's what I'm looking for on a working mirror. This is the one that isn't working on the right hand side. I get the probes on there and as you can see I'm not even getting a reading and that meter goes up to 60 mega ohms. So that's open circuit. So that's why the mirror wasn't working. And then we go to the one that I'm going to be replacing it with just to make sure no point fitting a defective one and sure enough we're at 10 and a half ohms on the one that's going to be going in there. So that's great nice smoking gun evidence nice clear difference in the resistance and uh, it's just a question now of fitting the new mirror and i'm now going to test the new mirror so i turn on the heated rear window yet again and i'm going to do that voltage drop test again across the left hand fuse and we're getting the three millivolt voltage drop showing the current flowing that's what we're expecting anyway because that was working anyway and then on the lower one, which previously had a zero voltage drop, we now have three millivolts voltage drop as well. So current is flowing, the mirror heated up, and that's a nice simple fix using simple diagnostics. Thanks for watching.